guys welcome back it's daniel again Ulushala daniel and i want to show you today how you can back up your website using a plugin called backuply so i'll be walking us through the process of backing up our website files using a plugin called backuply so right now guys i'll be jumping into my screen and walking us through this process seamlessly So guys, I'm on my WordPress dashboard, my website backend. Now, you sc scroll down to plugins, click on add new plugins like this. So you want to search for Backuply. 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 I think it's coming up. Backuply. So you search for Backuply. It's a plugin. As you can see, this is it here. Make sure it's this particular one by Softaculous. Then install now. Once you are done installing, you click on click on activate. So guys, the plugin has been installed. The next thing is to back up our website and how do you do that you navigate to the um to the backup play plugin this is it right here click on it it takes you to the dashboard and guys this is the dashboard here check let's check settings and make sure auto backup is not enabled okay then come to dashboard then you can hide a back up your um your files which are your wordpress files which you can find inside your um directory folder on your hosting server or you can back up your database but in my own case i do back up both that's the directory and the database so you choose both and it asks you where you want to um save it just leave it on local folder so once you hit this create backup buttons now it's um it's it's automatically um back up your website on your hosting server your hosting server is a cloud storage so that is where your website is installed so once you hit this create backup button now it uploads or back backs up your website files so right now guys i'll be hitting this create backup button it depends on how long it's going to take depending on the size of files by right, the size of files i have on my website or the, the size of my website itself how large my website content is so if the video is taking long i would have to pause it and if not i'll just leave it till it um finishes so guys hit the create backup button and that's all let's see so it's beginning to count now 50 percent shouldn't take time the way i'm seeing it guys as you can see backing up to local folder we are backing up your site it may take some times but right now it's telling me 100 percent so i think okay backup successfully completed 136 megabytes that's great so the next thing i want to do now is to hit the finish button and with that guys we are done backing up our websites let's check backup history as you can see this is it so you can decide to download this file this um, backup now has been stored on your hosting server storage so and nothing is going to happen to it whenever you need to restore this backup the only thing you have to do is you install the backup the plugin then you come back to this particular um, tab then you click on restore you click on restore so it's going to restore the files from your um server 
so that's just it and another thing you can do now is you can decide to download this file from your um hosting server you can download it and have it on your pc you can keep it somewhere so whenever you um probably need to to restore it will ask you to choose where you want to restore from you can choose from your to restore from your pc as simple as that guys so that will be the end of this video guys thanks to backuply